So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges plus Eververse plus 801. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. This is not the Eververse video that we're going to go through the dawn in. That's going to be in a separate video just because there's a lot more stuff in there. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, Wish Seeker 3, complete week 3 of wishing all the best. This is just a story. This is not too hard at all. Elemental Extremes, get Arc, Solar, or Stasis Final Blows. Bonus Progression is granted for Jolt, Ignite, or Shatter Final Blows. Uh, I'm going to be doing this with this, so just double dip on that. Foes of the Dragon, Scorn, defeat Scorn anywhere in the system. Defeat, defeating Scorn in Riven, Riven's Lair or the Coil grants additional progress. Additionally, defeat Glass Collectors in the Coil. So... Thankfully, it goes retroactively um, for the glass collector, not so much for the scorn consider. Oh, well, this is anywhere in the system. That's unfortunate considering the dungeon, the new one, has a lot of scorn, but this shouldn't take too long. Uh, Dragon's Defender. Defeat targets with pulse rifles or fusion rifles, gain additional progress for from guardian final blows and final blows within Riven's Lair or the Coil. Honestly, you can literally do all of these in one go. Not one go, but like damn near because i'm going to be using fusion rifles and pulse pulse rifles plus probably solar just because i do know i have a a fusion rifle no not if i have a pulse rifle that has ignite so that's going to be useful and yeah that's what i'm going to be doing we have round and round we go generate orbs of power in vanguard gambit or crucible playlist hopefully this isn't bugged like last season considering this one took me all season long so Hopefully this is fixed. And then we have Trial by Firing Squad, win multiple rounds in Trials of Osiris. This one's gonna be rough for some people. I usually never really complete this one just because I don't like to do it, but this season we might do it. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? I already have this. Um, I most likely will get up to like probably here by the, no, I'll probably like get up to like here by the end of next week, most likely. We'll see. Uh, the donning is happening, like I said, so we'll see. Well, let's go to Ada, actually. So, Ada 1, this should be, yeah, Vitrified Chronology. I like the shader quite a bit just because of, um, it has a really cool purple glow. The only unfortunate thing is I don't like the white, um, texture for this. It just looks kind of old and raggedy. We have Kairos Black. This one was being sold last week as well. Just not the fan of the Kaka Green. And then new monarchy regalia which i love this shader shader super dope definitely pick the shader up because it is really really cool for the armor it's going to be these right here i don't remember the titans or the warlocks so let me just go through or see that real quick and just to let you guys know i did solo flawless the new dungeon i have the video already uploaded i just need to like release it so if you guys are having trouble you guys can check out my solo flawless to get some uh clues or hints so for the armor hunters, I think the helmet is really cool. Unfortunately, I just don't like the fact that the like um what's it called? The the design in the front, the white pieces don't change color, so that's a big negative. I'm not the biggest fan of the arms. The chest piece is pretty interesting, the boots are pretty boring, and then the cloak is like whatever's. The oh, Titans is a Terra Concord, I forgot. The helmet is super dope. I don't like the arms. The chest piece is too bulky, but at the same time, it feels weird as well. The chest piece, or the boots are whatever, and then the mark is actually pretty cool as well. For the Warlocks, Tesseract, Trace, I'm not the biggest fan of this one, like, at all. The helmet, I'm not, like, whatever's. The arms, I'm whatever's as well. The chest piece is a reskin of another chest piece that we already have. The boots are whatever's, and then the bond is whatever. So let me know what you guys think about that. Like I said, I'm, I just don't really care for it. So let's actually go to Eververse real quick. Um, eh, all right. So for the shader, it's going to be Anilin Shock. This is from, dude, this is from like year one of Destiny 2. So this is an old shader. We have Dawning Mirth. I definitely would recommend this one. It's super, super cool. The only thing that sucks is that the cloak is white, but that's probably more just the cloak itself than the actual shader. So I would probably try to find a shader that goes well with it. Or not shader, an armor piece. Shower of Gifts, which I don't really give a sh slight shit about. Uh, conf confectionary Shell, which is just a gingerbread one. Giving. Uh, 
And then the stuff at the bottom we have, ooh, uh, Mary Maker. Yeah, this one looks like pretty cool. We have Polar Prancer. Sleepless Flight. Little Helper Shell. Excited Elf. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really tired. I hate that one. Uh, snowboard Tricks. Is there more to this? <clears throat> okay. And then for the Transmet Effects, we have Piled High. We have Sweet Entrance. And Shower of Gifts again. For the other shaders, Shark Bite. I don't hate this one. It looks pretty cool. We have Dawning Tranquility. This one looks cool. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Aniline Shock again. And then Dawning Warmth. Ooh, yeah, this is the. I like this one quite a bit. I really like it. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Uh, I am currently going to. Well, I'm currently working on a bunch of things right now, but. The biggest thing is all of the armor pieces from all the classes for a lot of the armor, like legitimately a lot of the armor. I'm currently working on the, not working, but the video is already done for the solo flawless for the new dungeon. I'm going to be doing the Eververse video right now, probably like right after this. And then I'm going to be doing the story for week three as well. And again, like I said, I have a lot of stuff I'm working on. A lot of the armor videos I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to be getting the armor for Dawning, so be looking out for that video if you guys are interested to see what I think about the armor. We're going to be going through, we're going to be going through this. I I, I made that noise because I like the, the cloak a lot. It looks really cool, but we're gonna, I'm going to be getting this one and most likely this one from last year. I would like to get more, but like this is expensive, bro, and I don't have enough to get it off through Bright Dust, so I think I'm going to get um two of these with bright dust and then buy the last one with money and then buy this this set with actual money i would like to get this set the loosen stuff because it does look really cool but i think i'm just gonna wait until next year we'll see because i also would let would like to get the northern light stuff because i think the hunters or the titans and warlocks got really cool pieces of it and yeah i just really hate that i didn't get these each year like just do i don't know let me know what you guys think i will most likely just wait uh, i'll get these two this year and then just kind of do it like that so that way each year I, I will constantly be getting a new set that being said i am kind of tempted to just buy them all straight out just because uh we might we don't know how long destiny 2 has to like we might know we might I'm trying to say we don't know if a Destiny 3 is coming or not. So I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.